My name is Advocate Priyanka Vilas Pandit. I'm a practicing litigator based out of Mumbai in India. I'm here to talk to you about a fabulous application called Liquid Text. When I want to start a new project, I will open a file and I'll just scroll to some of my documents that I want to bring in here. All right, so for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to use um, some of the case laws that I've been working on to sort of analyze uh, various provisions related to uh, bail or uh, compounding of offenses in 138 matters, uh, which is uh, typically popularly known as check bound matters. So I've just selected a few files here to begin with, and I'm just going to import these into the project. So as you can see, now this is all being imported and in processing. <clears throat> so I've opened up a file here and now I'm going to say open in liquid text and I'm going to add this to a new file. And I'm going to say import this file again. And ensure you have it. So this is uh, one of the first documents that I'd like to analyze, but I also want to add a few other documents that I'd like to read along with this document. So I'm going to add the document and I'm going to go to file and I'm going to pick some of the other documents that I'd like to read alongside the one that I already have. So let's take this one and I can... And as you can see now, multiple documents that I'd like to have reference to while I'm going through my project or analysis is already here. Now, after I've uh, gotten all of my documents here now, typically if I was doing this uh, on paper, I would have to go through each part, each of the documents separately and, and then make my markings on each separate documents uh, without actually being able to have reference to the other document because each of them are independent, right? But uh, that's one of the great parts about Liquid Text. It helps you to collate all of that. And this right here on on this side of the screen, uh, the gray area is the workspace, as you can see. Now, before I begin, I'm just going to customize my workspace to yellow because I like work with yellow paper. I'm going to put legal there. And there, my workspace is now the way I'd like it. Now that that's done, I'm just going to start by saying, what I'm doing in this project on my workspace. So this is my case law analysis. Yeah. And as I go through this document, let's say I find a path that's relevant where uh, I'd like to highlight certain parts of the judgments, which I'd like reference to uh, later. So liquid text actually allows me to pick and choose parts of the document that I'd like to have reference to and just bring excerpts down there. And I'm just gonna make a few of these so that I can walk through the reference later. So this is actually helping me understand in how many places the previous case law Damodar has actually been referenced throughout this case law. And now they've come up to another case law expert. So I'm going to mark that here. Now you can see I can also do all kinds of things here. Like I can color code the various uh, excerpts that I've created. So I can, let's say, pick yellow for these. And um, let's say red for this one. And you see what's happened there. Immediately as a flag in a different color, the highlighting within the document has changed. And I can just click on that small arrow there and it will take me to the relevant excerpt from where I've created it. I can also, for my reference, make notes within the document as I work on it. So if let's say, while I'm reading these guidelines, I have a question in my mind where I'd like to understand uh, whether these were overturned. So, I'd like to do that and put a question here for myself saying, check if 
overturned. Or um, I could also, in my workspace, create a comment um, and say the same thing. And use one of my favorite features in liquid text, which is the ink link. And there you have it. Now, while I'm scrolling through this document, um, I can quickly just click on the sync link and it will take me to exactly that part which I have used uh, to create that ink link, uh, to quickly go there and look at a reference uh, while I'm doing my analysis. Uh, now, this is just within one document, but the beauty of Liquid Text is that I can do this uh, for other documents in the same workspace and have easy reference there as well. Um, so here I can quickly highlight the parts which I think are relevant. So let's just see some of the facts here was that it's not necessary to do the facts. I'm sure I've highlighted this portion for my reference. And I want to jump right into what considerations were made. And this for me seems relevant. So I'm just going to mark that out. Sorry. So create this and comment right under there saying check with facts in the end. Ah, and here you are. Here in this particular case law, we've got another set of guidelines and this is now directly relevant for me because I have made reference to guidelines in another case law in another document previously. And now I can go back to that one and use the ink link to come back to this document to sort of cross-reference or check those guidelines. I can also, of course, select the entire portion and create an excerpt right there for me to sort of reference later. But I can also do something else. I can actually set this space here. There we go. And so now, whenever I'm referencing guidelines uh, while I'm reading my papers or my documents, I have an immediate reference to guidelines, which are in two separate set of documents. Uh, this is one and this is the other. So I can quickly just have a ready reference for the multiple guidelines that I need to refer to while I am working on this matter. You can also do, uh, you can also use tags if you're more familiar. So uh, let's say I want to create a tag for these guidelines just separately, then I can just call them guidelines. And, that, and let's say I want to say facts is another tag. So now I can use tags to differentiate and uh, actually mark these documents as uh, just guidelines. So I've got a tag right there, which also helps me analyze and allocate the different kind of markings that I've made, which helps me identify topic-wise uh, what references I've made while I'm reading the document. Um, now here, in this document, I'd like to focus on what were the issues that were dealt with in this particular matter. And then that becomes relevant for me. So I can just choose to even just highlight it. I don't need to always uh, create an excerpt. And I can just draw a quick inkling there. So,
now I can go back to the other documents to sort of check whether the same issues were relevant so that I have an understanding of the factual accuracy of the applicability of these various case laws that I'm trying to see are uh, important for me or to analyze. Now, liquid text also helps you to look at a highlight view where any highlights that you've made in the documents are directly flagged here. So if you can look at these uh, small lines as I scroll through the document are highlighted on the left-hand side. So it helps me understand what are the type of highlights that I've got. I can also, if I want to refer to only the highlighted portions of the documents, pinch the documents together. And this is also very, very helpful when you want to read two different parts of the document once at, in, a, in the same go by skipping the other paras that are not relevant for my reference at this point in time. So I can just pinch the documents together. And now I've got my highlights back to back for me to compare and see whether this now makes more sense for me while I'm reading through my documents. Uh, one of the other beauties of liquid text is that if I'm collaborating uh, on this particular project or if I want to send uh, these notes to my colleagues who are also using liquid text, I can share the entire project uh, either as a liquid text file if they have access or as a PDF file uh, where I have the option to choose whether or not I want to send the notes that I've created or the documents uh, as is. I can also choose the number of documents that I'd like to share. So if you're ever working with documents which are for your eyes only and you don't want anybody else to have access or to look at them, you can choose to do that as well. <clears throat> and you can choose whether you want to export those as single PDFs or a collection. Uh, so lots of options there. And then let's say I just want to send my notes along with these documents as a collection and I say export and I can just email this and you've got the workspace with all of the documents that I've referred to as a PDF which can now be sent to my colleagues for their reference and reading. So there you have it guys. Um, Liquid Text has really um, been a blessing in disguise to make sure that we're not carrying around heavy briefs all day when we're running between courts or switching between matters and uh, more importantly uh, it's a quicker way to analyze bulky documents uh, with inbuilt cross-referencing uh, and the features that help you sort of bring all of your notes and thoughts together in your own workspace uh, which is also quite expensive actually you have uh, a huge workspace that you can use uh, to create your many notes as you're working through matters and um, have direct reference to whatever you need. Uh, I also now uh, use my liquid text uh, during arguments uh, to sort of navigate and go through uh, points that may come up during the hearing so it's faster reference. It also auto paginates. So if you're working with documents which uh, don't have inline pagination, then you can also always refer to the pagination that Liquid Text also provides, and that also uh, helps fasten things up for you. Uh, apart from all of these features that we've already seen, one of the other great things that Liquid Text allows you to do is to view all your multiple documents side by side. Let me show you what I mean by this. Um, so let's say I want to look at the first document of the case law and the third document of the case law side by side. So do you see, I'm just dragging the document here and I've put it now, I've got both these documents side by side in a view where I can have a glance and independently scroll through those documents together. Uh, now I can do, uh, I can also continue to work on these documents in my workspace, uh, but also I can make links for specific parts that uh, relate to each other from within these documents by creating links between the documents. So let me show you what I mean. So for example, if I want to create a link for this particular portion to let's say this point in another document, 
and I want to continue reading through. So when I come here and I want to make a reference here, it will quickly just jump to that part of the document. And this can be really helpful when you're reading. And you can do this also when you're working with workspaces. So for example, um, so let me just, uh, oh, also before I forget, uh, you can uh, manually try to adjust the size on each of these documents, or you could also click on the three dots and you could adjust it like this so that you can get a larger reading of the documents. Let's say you've got multiple workspaces. So um, you click the dot here and I've already created one work additional workspace, but I'll do that again for you. So there's add workspace and let me customize it. Let's see a pink purple and I want it. Uh, let's say I want a graph because or I don't want any formatting. I can choose these not things or just dots, guidelines. So let's say there are numbers that we're going to be working on in this particular workspace to sort of do an analysis of what are the figures involved in this particular matter. I'll just quickly go and change the color here to be more legible. And I can say check amount. And then I can say what's the penalty. And then I can say what's the interest. And uh, let's say this is 15 lakhs. The penalty is twice as that. And the interest was, let's say, at 18%. So maybe as one day it comes to about 10 lakhs. And now I'd like to see this in comparison with the other notes that I've had. So I do the same thing that we did. I can drag my other workspace and now I've got comparative view of both my workspaces side by side where I can see the analysis that I've drawn up in one workspace and the other information that I've got in the other workspace and I can have a side by side view of what is happening. So there you have it, guys. I um, hope you enjoy the experience of working with Liquid Text the way I do. See whether it makes your life easy, because it definitely made my life easier. Uh, very handy to walk around with just an iPad into court as opposed to bulky briefs. I hope you enjoy Liquid Text as much as I do. Thanks. Bye.